Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans and welcome back to another one of our videos. And today we're gonna to be talking about something that we get questions about all the time. And that is how you can move your WhatsApp from an Android device over to an iPhone. And as we know, no one wants to lose their chat. So in today's video, we will show you exactly how you can do it. But before we start, if you're new here to the channel, then why not subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we have coming up on the channel. But for now, if you've done that, Let's get into today's video. You might have been using an Android device for the past few years and have now just bought an iPhone and you want to know how you can transfer those WhatsApp chats over to that new device because no one wants to lose those chats or any of that important photos and videos that have been sent throughout the years. So that's what we're going to show you in today's video. And in our first method, we're going to show you something that is nice, easy and simple. And it's a piece of software called Mobile Trans. Wondershare Mobile Trans has you covered. This software offers a comprehensive and user friendly solution for transferring data types between over 6,000 iOS and Android devices. And one of its most notable features is the ability to merge WhatsApp data from one phone to another. Wondershare makes it nice and easy to be able to transfer that data from your Android over to an iPhone in the hope that you don't lose any of that chat history or photos videos, links, or anything else that you sent. One of its most exciting features is that you can actually then move over your WhatsApp from one device to another device that even has a new phone number. So if this sounds like something you need to do, then follow these next few steps. First of all, download the mobile trans software and plug in your old Android device and then your iPhone into your computer using a USB cable. After that, you need to launch that mobile trans application on your system and choose the WhatsApp transfer feature from those options. Now the application will spot your connected devices and you have to mark these as the source and destination but if they're not in the right order you can hit the flip button which will put them in the correct place. Next click start to initiate the WhatsApp transfer process and mobile trans will merge the transferred WhatsApp data with your current iPhone WhatsApp data. All you have to do is wait a few minutes while the transfer works. It's magic. Once completed, you'll see that Android WhatsApp history is straight there on your iPhone ready to use. Now there's another option that you can try here as well, and that is to use that official Move to iOS app. Now on Android, you can download this from the Google Play Store, and what it does is it helps move over all of your information from the Android device to an iPhone, and it can take over with it a load of information, but there are some things that you need to note. Your Android device has to run Android OS Lollipop or above, and Android 5 or higher, and that iPhone needs to have iOS 15.5 or newer. You have to make sure that you have the latest WhatsApp versions on both your iOS device and Android phone as well, and you need to connect both devices to the same Wi-Fi network Work and plug them into a power source. Make sure that your iPhone is brand new or reset to its factory settings and ensure that the same phone number on your old and new phones are the same. So let me show you exactly what you'd need to do to get this working. First of all, make sure you have a new iPhone or if not, go to settings, go to general and look for the transfer or reset iPhone option. Then what you need to do is erase all content and settings. And this action will take you to the erase this iPhone section. And you've got to continue to do this here and proceed with the reset process and just confirm by selecting the erase iPhone option on the screen. Then you can initiate the setup process on your iPhone by following the on-screen instructions. You'll have to sign in with your Apple ID and proceed to the apps and data screen. Now, choose the move data from Android option on this screen to start that process. Then hit continue and it will generate a single use code. And make sure you note this down because it will be required to put that into the move to iOS app. Then open the move to iOS app on your Android device. And then what you need to do here is enter that code that your iPhone produced on the Android device. Once the connection is successfully made, you have to navigate to the transfer data option within the app. Mark the checkbox for WhatsApp from the list, then tap continue to proceed. You'll be taken to the WhatsApp screen displaying the move chats to iOS 
option. You need to press the start button to begin the process. Then following that, tap next when the app prepares for the file transfer. And we are done with the instructions to that move to iOS tool. But that was just that part. We still have a few more steps to get this nice and easily working. To begin with, if your WhatsApp isn't already installed on your iPhone, you need to download it on the App Store. And once installed, open the app and then under the move chats and Android section, tap start to begin. When prompted, grant WhatsApp the necessary permissions by tapping the start button. After the transfer process finishes, you can set up your profile name and picture and tap done. Then WhatsApp was successfully transferred to your iPhone and it is there ready for you to use. Let me show you now a nice, simple, easy, and effective way to move those chats over by just using your phone without the use of a computer. Mutzapper or WhatsApper is a comprehensive tool for transferring various types of data between Android and iPhone devices. And actually it facilitates that transfer of WhatsApp data without requiring a factory reset of your phone ensuring your existing data remains intact. This can also merge WhatsApp data from Android to iOS without erasing the previous information. And all you need for this to work is gonna be the correct cables. And if you have that, let me show you exactly how you would do it. First, you need to download the Mutzapper app from the Google Play Store and choose the Android to iPhone function within the app to start transferring your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. In the next step, you will have to enter your phone number and log into the WhatsApp account. Subsequently, you can connect your Android device to the iPhone using the USB cables. After that, follow the instructions to authorize the connection between the devices. And when the devices get connected, you can initiate that transfer process. Mutzapper will first interpret your WhatsApp backup and you'll have to wait for the analysis process to be completed. But after the examination by the application is done, you can tap on the start button to transfer your WhatsApp data within just a few minutes. But this can vary depending on how much data you have to transfer. So just make sure you'll sit there and be nice and patient. Let's have a look at a different situation where you haven't bought that new phone yet, but you are planning on doing so. Well, actually, the Mobile Trans software here can help you as well through the form of a backup. Mobile Trans also allows its users to backup and restore their data anytime, anywhere. So let's see how this app will assist in backing up your WhatsApp data and restoring it later to your brand new iPhone when you get one. So just follow the next few steps. First of all, open the Wondershare Mobile Trans application on your computer and select the backup and restore option. Four different data types for backup and restore will be displayed in the Mobile Trans app. After that, you have to connect your Android phone to the computer computer in which your WhatsApp data is stored. Then start by selecting the backup option from the app backup and restore section within Mobile Trans. Following that, choose the WhatsApp app for backup. The interface for Mobile Trans will display different data types such as photos, videos, audios, etc. After connecting an Android device for WhatsApp backup, Next, you have to initiate the backup process by clicking on the start button. For Android, the software will provide detailed instructions on proceeding with the backup. You just have to follow the on-screen instructions, which are nice and easy, to get WhatsApp on your local storage. Then you'll get a notification that it is all sorted and the backup process is complete. Now, once you've got your iPhone, you'll need to get that data from Mobile Trans and this is how you do that. You have to connect your iPhone to the computer via the cable and then go to the backup and restore section and select the restore from the app backup and restore option. Then you need to locate that backup of WhatsApp and select it to restore it to your iPhone by hitting the start button. And it really is as simple as that. And then your data is being transferred to that new iPhone via a backup. Next is a slightly different method where you can actually export your chats for you to view them on your iPhone. But sadly, this method doesn't allow them to be completely fully restored in the WhatsApp app. So it's a slightly different workaround, but sometimes it's important to have those chats either way. So let me show you how you can do this and just follow the steps and it'll be nice and simple. To begin with, you have to open WhatsApp and access the conversation you want to migrate from your Android phone. Next, tap on the three dots at the top of the conversation and select the export chat within the more options. Now choose whether to include or exclude media files and then you can share the zip file via different options where you can mail the exported chats to yourself. Then on your iPhone, you need to go to the same email account that you sent those chats to 
and you can download and review the conversations. The one thing to note here is that you will only be able to read them as a text file and not see them in the traditional way that you would inside WhatsApp. But this is a really good way to save specific conversations without having to transport a load of data at the same time. And that's it for today's video. WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone should now be all transferred by following some of our methods. And of course, remember, we showed you the Mutzapper tool that you could use. And of course, we showed you what we think is the best option within Wondershare Mobile Trans. If you enjoyed the video, then why not give us a comment below and let us know. Give the video a like and of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications as well so you don't miss any of the videos that we upload to the Wondershare Mobile Trans channel. But if you've done all of that, then we will see you in the next video.